crop everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, before I come out and uh, do a review of the Nature Ike Vic, very lightweight tent. If you're into your backpacking, then this tent is probably for you. Um, I'd say it's more for experienced users, uh, only being because it's single skin. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a beautiful looking tent. Uh, I've never never used it before myself. I just bought it up here today just to uh, give it a review. I weighed this tent just before I left the house and for the, the tent itself and the poles that came in on my scales that came in bang on one kilo and the pegs were 98 grams that's for 
10 pigs. There's also a ground sheet you can uh, purchase for this tent. Uh, it didn't come with mine. I had to uh, buy a separate. But I think, uh, I think it might be possible you'd be able to buy the tent with the, depends what deal you have uh, with the ground sheet. Uh, the ground sheet comes in at 150 grams in the bag. So these clips pop on all the way through the frame, up over the top. Make sure you clip this one onto the onto the top one, another bottom. These are your guy lines. You got one, one guy line on the one side, and two on this side. The reason the pegs are not in the ground all the way, because there seems to be a lot of brick underneath this grass. Absolute nightmare to get them in, but like I'm only here for, for a short while anyway. So there's no really, and there's no wind today, so there's no need for me to push them all the way in. As a bar comes straight across the top, and then we got these little tags on the side and on our side, uh, which, which the top bar will clip into. has these like magnetic clips which I think is pretty cool nice little touch there different to the velcro And I've heard that if you take that peg out by there and you have two trekking poles, then you can use this as a, a shelter. But I didn't bring any trekking poles with me today. So you can pull this peg out. So one trekking pole would go there and then one where my hand is there, which you can't see. Yeah, you can imagine having a trekking pole by there and one by there. And then you got yourself a little canopy in from the sun. So this is a tent all fully open up. I just rolled the vegetable door up and just tied it on up here. But I don't think that's right. I think there's a proper way of clipping the vegetable door back. And you've got a toggle up here, which you can tie this one back. So on the other side, you have a, a zip here. You can open up. And this will be great for ventilation. And also you can store semi gear out in the vestibule. Uh, there's quite a bit of room. It's not massive, but there is room to store 
uh, bit of your gear. It's not very, it's not very down to the ground, very tight. So obviously this is more of a, a summer tent. It's not a winter tent. So uh, I'm not sure if the rain could drip in beer and get some of your gear wet. That's uh, something I'm gonna have to test out in the future. Because I will be taking this tent out, obviously after lockdown. It says on the website that it's very breathable. The inner tent is made with anti-scratch 20D nylon mesh. And the Rainfly is a 15D ripstop nylon and silicone coated. I don't believe a lot of things I read on the internet, uh, like on Amazon, it states that this can handle snow. And looking at that down there, I don't think this is gonna handle snow. This is definitely just a summer tent. I wouldn't recommend using this in the winter. It would be uh, a little bit too cold for that, I think. So again, side guys. Oh God, look at that view. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I come up here quite a lot and I just never get bored of it. I don't live far away at all from here. So lucky. Right, so I'm inside now, guys. Right, let's lay down. Right, so my head. My head is not touching the top, and my feet are not touching the bottom. So I got probably an inch. My head from the top end, on the bottom end, probably about, oh, yeah, probably about two inches. And I'm around 5'10". So, I'm not sure about a six foot person. I think a six foot person might touch Hmm. I haven't got a tape measure with me, so um, I think you'll be able to look up the details, the specs on the internet anyway. So, well, I bought my Cloud Base Alp Kit inflatable bed, a mattress. So, what I'll do, I'll uh, blow that up now and put that in here, and we can see what it looks like. You can see, uh, you can tell then how much room we got in here. All right, guys, so I got the Alp Kit Cloud Base inflatable mattress in now. It's a lovely mattress, I gotta give it that. Uh, there's no insulation inside this mattress. There's, this is the one I'll be using in the summer and Obviously, you don't need a pump for this because uh, there's no insulation inside, so you can just blow this up yourself. Um, really comfy mattress, but the review is not on the mattress, so let's continue with the review with the tent. So, so there's the mattress in, so it's touching against the top of there. And that's the room that's in the bottom, which is probably about three inches, four inches maybe. It's not the longest tents. And then you have, I put my phone in there. It's about the size of my phone. There's the ground sheet underneath. Like I said that weighs 150 grams. Uh, 
Oh yeah. I think I should have stayed here tonight. <laughs> I could have as well. But I haven't brought my sleeping bag with me, so as a bummer. I was I wasn't expecting it to be this nice and it's not even a breath of wind up yeah when usually it's always windy all right so we also have uh, two vents at the top and you're probably wondering what these things are yeah when I seen them myself for the first time yeah I was a bit skeptical about it but there's these like velcro things on the bottom and there's this bar which pushes up and that opens a vent so I push that up I'm probably gonna need two hands for this so as you can see I just push that bar up and then put the velcro together and you can see it's open now on the outside get back out a second uh, my main concern would be if we did have a downpour or a rainy day then would the rain get in uh, like if it was blowing from this direction then yeah I wouldn't be too happy with that so uh, I keep the vent down, but then you got this problem. I don't know if you can still see inside, but he's thinking I get some Velcro and hold it down tighter. Don't know. It's all... Once I test this tent out in the rain, then I'll I can give my verdict on that. Oh, same thing on the other side. Not gonna peg us out. Cool little idea. Awesome little idea, but not sure if it works or not. So what I'll do now, I will put the vestibule back together now and we'll see how much room we got for cooking and storing any gear. I forgot to mention that there's another zip on the top. You can bring that down, get past their magnet clips. And you've got a nice, a nice vent for there. So yeah, that's uh, great for ventilation. Also, there's a pocket inside. So you can store your, your bits and bobs, your keys, anything really. So a very, very thin material, very lightweight. I don't think there's any other pockets. What I can see. You have uh, a loop here, yeah? so you can put up your lantern or anything else you want. I think that's the only one I can see inside. So, so there's your vestibule. Sheep crap everywhere. I put my shoes here to give you a little idea how much room is in the vestibule. So, yeah, I got two shoes by there in a line, and it just about just pokes out. I said these tents are not very low to the ground, uh, they're more designed for the summer 
for proper ventilation. So you got plenty of room there now to do your cooking. And then, yeah, I suppose you'd be able to get a backpack in Dunbar there. But what we got to remember is this tent is one kilo. So we can't expect it to be massive. Condensation. That'll be something I'll uh, be letting you know in the future once I uh, get out there on a trail. I gotta be honest. Plenty of room in here for me and, and my dog as well. Plenty of room. Yeah, guys, when you open this door on the end, you got this toggle. When you just noticed it, so to tie this back, you won't need to take that one out like I did. And I guess it clips on to this beer. So then you got the door open. I still got a vegetable area. Obviously they're made in China and the price varies. So I can't really tell you what the price is on one of these. I know I paid 120 for mine, but I think I had a deal and I bought mine about six months ago. And I hadn't even got the test out yet because we come into lockdown. So yeah, keep an eye out for future videos. So that's a nature hike, thick. I purchased this tent about six months ago and I paid around 120 online. Um, the price, the vary, goes up, fluctuates, goes up, down. So I can't really tell you what this tent is worth right now. I haven't really checked myself, but yeah, we all know it's from China. I mean, the quality seems really decent. I mean, for the money, what more do you want? You know, it weighs a kilo, and yeah, your back, your backpacking trips are gonna be a lot more comfortable uh, if you like less weight. Condensation-wise, uh, I'll, I'll let you know in the future as soon as I, this lockdown is over and I uh, do some wild camps. I won't be taking it on every wild camp because I'm going to be using it more for backpacking trips. So, yeah, it's a, it's a cool tent. I like it. I do like it a lot. Drone time.
got this small compression sack, really lightweight. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and fit that Naturite thick inside this. And this is quite small, so let's see how we get on. How small? <laughs> it's my phone. Absolutely incredible. <sighs> nice and small to fit in the pack. Look at that sunset guys, wow. Now what I would do is I'd have the poles down the side, inside the pack. Keep the pegs in one of your pockets on the outside. and keep the footprint on the tent at the top, put these two in last so if it's raining you can pack your bag, get out, pack your tent, put your tent in last and then everything will be kept dry. Another thing I'd recommend as well is obviously when you get home if it's been raining and all your tent is wet then I would uh, put it on a line and air it out because otherwise the next time you go backpack in or while camping yeah it's not going to smell too good when you get that out so yeah to look after your gear yeah check it on a line and air it out right then guys that's a review of the Nature Hike Vic I hope you enjoyed it uh, I'm not a tent expert, I just tell you what I know, so there's probably other uh, YouTubers out there might have better uh, reviews of it than me, so yeah, check their uh, channels out, and uh, yeah, I've enjoyed a few hours up here again, being an absolutely stunning day today, incredible, uh, in a way I wish I, I could stay here, but with this lockdown, Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> right. Beautiful sunset in the distance. Time's cracking on now, so... Yeah. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.